Hello and welcome to another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we are going to factor x minus y cubed plus y minus z cubed plus z minus x cubed. Here I am going to accomplish that by two methods. Obviously, given the title, the easiest and most efficient way is to use the factorization of x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3xyz. That is the easy way. However, I will also attempt to obtain the same answer, not by using the formula above, but by another method. And that is the hard way. But before you call me a fool for doing things the hard way, let me just say that I think it's still important and fascinating, you know, for educational purposes. Alright, let's do it. First, the easy way. For the sake of simplicity, let x minus y as a, and y minus z as b, and z minus x as c. Then this expression becomes a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. And in order to use our famous formula, we subtract 3abc, then add 3abc. So this part is our famous formula, which is a plus b plus c times a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ca. And we have this part. So plus 3abc, but here these a, b, and c are these, x minus y, y minus z, and z minus x. So their sum, a plus b plus c, is 0. Therefore, since this part becomes 0, we are only left with 3abc, which is just 3 times x minus y times y minus z times z minus x. So that was the easiest method. Next, the hard way. Here, let us expand everything and try to obtain the same result. So first, if we expand this, we have x cubed minus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared minus y cubed. And if we expand this, we have plus y cubed minus 3y squared z plus 3yz squared minus z cubed. And from here we have z cubed minus 3 z squared x plus 3 z x squared minus x cubed. Now notice that x cubed terms cancel out, y cubed terms cancel out, and z cubed terms cancel out. So we have this, and since all terms have 3, let us take out 3 to the front and write minus x squared y plus x y squared minus y squared z plus y z squared minus z squared x plus z x squared. Now the reason why I said this seemingly harder method is important is because sometimes instead of this, this can be given as a problem. Well, to be fair, the middle school and high school curriculums around the world are usually not that advanced to cover this kind of factorization, but still, these kind of expressions occasionally appears in more advanced algebra of polynomials or rational expressions, so learning a skill to factor these kinds of polynomials may turn out to be quite useful. So, how do we do it? Well, the number one priority in factorization is to find a common factor but in here, there's no common factor that we can easily find, and also there are no applicable formulas. In this case, the general rule of thumb is, when there are no apparent common factors and no applicable formulas, try to rearrange terms in decreasing order for one variable, usually the one with the lowest degree. Then, perhaps you will find the common factor. This perhaps is very important, because finding the common factor is not always guaranteed, even though it's clearly there, but still, this method works surprisingly well in so many cases. In our problem right here, all three variables have the same degree, which is 2. So let's just arbitrarily pick x and start rearranging in decreasing order of x. First, we have x squared terms in here and here, so we have minus y plus z x squared. Then for x terms, we have plus x y squared here and minus z squared x here. So we have plus y squared minus z squared x. And the remaining terms, which can be considered constant terms from the perspective of x, are minus y squared z plus y z squared. Now look what we have here. This part can be written as minus y minus z x squared. And if we factor this, 
we have y plus z, y minus z, x. And for this part, yz is common, so we can write minus yz times y minus z. Therefore, we have this y minus z as a common factor, which means that our pro tip indeed works. So let's take out y minus z to the front, then we have minus x squared plus y plus zx minus yz. Here we can take minus to the front and write it as x squared minus y plus zx plus yz. Now look at this part. This is a basic factorization formula for quadratic expressions, which is x minus y times x minus z. So we have minus 3 y minus z, x minus y, x minus z. Here, let us write the answer in a completely cyclic manner. So if we multiply this minus to x minus z, we have 3 times, and let's write x minus y first, then y minus z, then z minus x. So we have arrived at the same answer. Again, I would like to emphasize that this tip is definitely worth remembering. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in another video.